Hey friends, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. And today we have a super cute one. Let me share with you what we're making. We're making a toilet paper snowman. Super fun. All right, so the first thing obviously that you'll need is three rolls of toilet paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and set them aside. Now for the hat, I did not have a hat. If you have a small hat, you can certainly use that instead of what I'm using. I'm using some tissue paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in half and then fold it up about a half inch or so and then fold it up again another half inch or so. That's going to be the brim of the hat. And you want to have a hot glue gun ready as well. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take my toilet paper. Now I just want the brim of the hat to be at the very top of the toilet paper. So we're going to hold it there and just kind of work our way around. I have my hot glue gun ready, so I'm going to put some hot glue there just to hold that in place while I work my way around. And then just give that a second to set up. And then we're going to keep on going around. You don't want to go tight. Let's put some more here. And then bring this piece down like that. And on the end pieces right here, I'm going to put some glue in, inside that to keep that brim part down. Okay, so there we have that. All right, now what I want to do is just kind of squish this a little bit like that. Just kind of squish it down, squeeze it. And I'm going to take a pipe cleaner, which is the white one that I have. And I'm going to wrap it around a few times. Just to create the hat and again if you have a small you know like a newborn hat even go to the Dollar Tree they probably have them you can do that but I thought I'll use what I have so I had this why not right all right so there is his hat then you can just go in there and kind of refluff it if you need to okay so that's done while we're here we're gonna go ahead and do his face so I have some googly eyes and some small pom-poms. I'm first going to do the googly eyes. If you want to, you can certainly use, um, you know, black cardstock. All right, so there's one there. And if you don't want to use toilet paper rolls, you can probably also use like this would be really cute in the bathroom, just for a little, a little bathroom at Christmas decoration. Um, you can certainly use uh, paper towels for the kitchen. All right, so I have these itty bitty um, pom poms. First, I'm going to take some orange cardstock, and I'm just going to cut this in the shape of a carrot. Okay, and that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to also crunch it up a little bit so it's not so straight. It gives life to our little carrot. You can also ink the edges if you want to. Okay, so I think that might be a tad bit too big. Maybe a little bit smaller. Alright, so I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some glue on the back. the carrot there. Oh, so cute. All right, now, if you're going to use these small pom-poms, very carefully, we're going to put just a little bit of glue on them. And then put them down there for his mouth. And I used five. And this is a really fun project to get the kids involved. Um, you know, even though we are using a hot glue gun, you can certainly use a low temp glue gun or some tacky glue. It might just take a little bit longer than the dry, for it to dry. Okay, and I'll do two more on the other side, and that'll be his happy face. Ah, it sticks to my finger. Okay, there we go. 
If you get glue strings when you're done, you can take a hair dryer or a heat gun and get rid of the glue strings. Our last one right here. Okay, so his little face is done. How super cute is that? All right, now what I want to do is work on his body. So we have the other two rolls, and I want the seam part to be in the back. And I am going to glue these together. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hot glue gun. So don't break out the good toilet paper. You know, you want to use the cheap stuff here. And the, the pin that I've seen, they've um, wrapped their toilet paper with tissue paper. I didn't like that. I wanted to keep the toilet paper look for it. So I left mine plain. Okay, so we have that now. We need to work on the arms. So I have some brown pipe cleaners. What I'm going to do is cut them in half. I'm going to fold them in half. Actually, I'm not going to cut it in half. I'm just going to fold it. I just want to fold that in half there. So we have that one. Another one here. So you'll need about three of them. Or you can also use sticks. All right, so what I'm going to do is just twist this. This way it gives the arm some strength and it makes it a little bit thicker than just using the plain pipe cleaner. Just twist. Okay, that one's done. And then same thing here, just twist. And I'm using the pom-poms for the buttons. You can certainly use buttons if you want to use that. If you have that. I didn't have any black, large black buttons anyway. Alright, so we have the two arm pieces. Now what I want to do in the side here, on the, the, side, the middle one, just take a poker tool and I'm going to poke in there. Just kind of wiggle this around a little bit just so I can get room in there to get my pipe cleaner in there. Okay, so I have that hole, you can see it or not. And I'm going to literally just fill that with hot glue, trying to stay just inside the hole there. And then take my pipe cleaner and on the end that we did not fold, and then just go ahead and stick that in there. And then give it a second to set up. We're going to flip it over and do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to just kind of line it up. Just poke a hole in it. Kind of twirl it around a little bit. Alright, again, fill that up with glue. Try to keep the glue all inside that hole. And stick that in there. Okay, now we're gonna let them sit, we're gonna let that set up. I can see I'm off a little bit on my toilet paper there. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna glue the head on. So again, I'm going to put some glue on top of here. You don't need a whole lot, but I want to be able to move it without taking everything apart. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this one on top. Okay, and we're going to just lay them down and make sure everything is nice and straight. Because at the back, I'm not too worried about. And we're going to fit, we'll fix the arms in a minute. Okay, now I want to add the buttons. So I have these large pom-poms and I have these middle ones. I'm going to see, maybe I'll do the middle, just make the medium size on this one. So I do have three of them. So I'm going to take some glue. All right, and then put a button there or a pom-pom there. And I did two in the midsection and then one a little bit lower. Then for the scarf, you can use whatever you have. I happen to have some fleece I'm gonna use. All right. And we have one more to go. I apologize for the noise. I have the windows open. That was like a big doom buggy that went by. All right, so there's his little buttons. Super cute, right? Now I wanna work on the rest of the arm. So I'm gonna take the other pipe cleaner 
fold it in half, and then cut it in half. So I'll have two pieces about this big. And then, you know, kind of bend the arm how you like it. I'm also going to cut some of the arm off. Okay, so it's not so long. I'm going to take this, just wrap it around like that, and then kind of bring it up if they're too long. Okay, for his little hands. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off as well. I cut maybe about an inch off of it, that way it wasn't too long. All right, I'm going to take this one and wrap it around as well, like that, and then just kind of push it up. And cut that off, it's not so long. Oh my gosh, so cute, right? All right, so we are all done with that. All we have to do now is add our scarf, and like I said, I'm using some fleece that I already had. I'm gonna put that around the back of them. And just tie it into a knot. I am gonna secure this knot with um, some glue. Once I get the scarf, I wanna hide that middle seam there. You don't want to go super tight because it's going to squish. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to stick some glue right here. Okay, and then just bring this one down some so it kind of stays where I want it to stay. And then, of course, we'll trim it and then cut off, cut the fringe. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this one a little bit shorter. This one will go a little bit longer this one this way and then just cut some fringe in it. Oh, my scissors stuck to the glue. I also kind of separated it a little bit. I can do the same for this one. How easy, right? Okay. So there is our snowman from a um, toilet paper. Right, so there's that one there with the smaller pom-poms, and then we have this one here with the larger ones. I'm not sure, I think they're both, I think they're both super cute. But there you have it, friends, a super easy snowman Pinterest inspired project. I will have the um, link to the blog that inspired this on my website below. I will have that link below as well, as well as pictures. Uh, any questions, my friends, please let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.